Hello guys, welcome back to CJG Gaming. Uh, today is Minecraft. We're on the Minecraft server again, and uh, we're going to finish off the wheat farm. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, it works like this. It's basically this on every single layer, and all the wheat will drop down here. Uh, each layer is a seven by eight pad for wheat. Um, course is it's all hydrated under there and uh, dragons <laughs> dragons gonna tell me something um, but I've got a bunch of glass panes because we need to finish off the side bits here um, I'm gonna hide this red st oh, oh damn it I need to grab a silk touch pick first uh, that would be a smart idea anyway today we're gonna be speaking a lot because um, as my longtime subscribers will know I've been talking a lot about my computer I will be buying um, at some point and um, it's cool and um, I think I've finally come to a decision on what I'm getting um, I will talk to you about it in a second let's just get let's get down there first um, basically the heart the beating heart of the computer the the processor is going to be an Intel i7. It's going to be the Ivy Bridge third gen, um, 3770K, um, which basically means it's unlocked, which means I can overclock it. Um, and I probably will do that if I get low FPS and stuff. Um, of course, my graphics card will help with FPS and stuff. Um, but we have got a lot of stuff um, in that. Well, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm going to be putting into the computer. Um, damn it! How am I going to get around here? Um, the graphics card. I, I I honestly don't know the name of it <laughs> that well, um, but I know it's. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! Toggle down for. I don't know the actual full name of it but I know it's made by MSI oh for god's sake I need I need blocks two seconds anyway so I know it's made by MSI um it is a Radeon um HD 6790 no something like that uh it's two gigabytes it's I think it's 850 uh, megahertz. I, I honestly don't know much about graphics cards. I don't know much about computers in general. I just like to pretend I do. Um, but it's going to run like a dream. I can t I can tell you that. Um, it's not very cheap. Though. Well, it's, it's it's quite cheap for a two gigabyte graphics card. It's um it's two hundred pounds. Um, the processor is two hundred and it was two forty. I think it's gone up to about two sixty now. Unfortunately. Um, which we'll just have to do annoyingly um, but um, it is going to be cool it will be very cool uh, the RAM I'm getting 1600 megahertz because it's the fastest I can get I'm getting 16 gig um, which that will run a dream for editing uh, rendering obviously um, I'm then getting a Corsair well, the, the RAM is Corsair Vengeance um I am getting a Asus motherboard. Uh don't ask me about types of motherboards because I don't understand that either. Oh. And um that will be the main bit. <laughs> I don't know anything about computers really to be honest. Um then I'm getting a Corsair cooler. It's a uh, liquid cooling sort of. It's 80 pounds which I need sort of for my processor so I might be overclocking it. Um I've also I'm also gonna be getting I'm getting a lot of stuff. I'm also gonna be getting a um hundred and twenty gigabyte solid state um for rendering to for uploading from because I don't know if the read speed will actually affect it. Um on my end at least. It might do slightly. Um so that 
that would be really good. It would be for startup. Um, and then I'm going to get a 500 gig backup, um, uh, normal disk drive, and a two terabyte main one. Uh, so I've got a lot of storage. I've got 2.62. Uh, the solid state's 120 gig, by the way. And I am getting what else? Or something else? Um, it, I'm getting most of my parts from Novatech and eBuyer because uh, I think they're they're fairly cheap. And um, I'm getting a uh, what else am I getting? I'm getting something. Oh, I'm getting a case from Novatech that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm getting probably a Razer keyboard because they're not that. Ex some of them aren't that expensive. <laughs> And th they're good, well priced, and they function well. Um, it's getting night, damn it. Um, I've been speaking a lot about this, and I probably am boring you by now, but I just thought I'd tell you I'm going to be getting it around about November the 5th, because that's my birthday, or at least I will be building it. That will be the the earliest I'll be building it and getting it. Uh, of course, the next week, uh, Tuesday the... Tuesday the 13th of November, Black Ops 2 comes out and my computer will play a massive role in getting that video out on time um, or as quick as possible because obviously I'm going to be competing with other people to get that up and the quicker I get out the more views I'll get which means in the long run, I'm going to die if I jump off here um, in the long run um, I, it, it will get me a lot of views this computer um, and I totally believe it's worth the money. It's gonna the actual whole computer itself is gonna result to about nine hundred and fifty pounds uh, with a monitor, which needs to have a HDMI slot for my PlayStation. It will be around about uh, and the keyboard, which is fifty quid. It will be around about one thousand <laughs> one hundred and fifty. So it, it isn't cheap, um, but I I'm getting serious now. I want that computer for gaming mostly. And also for rendering, um, that's what I've styled it on. Uh, I'm gonna make a special video for building it. Um, let's see if I can. I'll pr it'll probably be a little time lapse. Um, I've got a bit of a ah no! Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, and that that video will be out on November the fifth, yeah, just as a little test video. Um, so it, it is, is gonna be quite cool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna quickly think of something else to speak about. Ah yes, um, three panels later. Uh, one point four. The one point four. I really can't wait for. I know you may say, why don't you just go on a snapshot and try out your server? Because <laughs> the server doesn't work very well on a snapshot. Uh, yeah, last time it crashed a lot. I mean, it's a fairly cheap budget server. Right? It cost it costs like fourteen pounds every three months, so it's it's not an expensive server. I just got it. It's only for YouTubers and I would have a proper public server but I don't have enough money to do that. I don't know people such as Firework Cube had a um main one. I think he had to stop it because he couldn't afford it. But um I don't think we'd be able to cope with more than the amount of people we have on on the server at the moment. I mean that's looking good. I mean the server it's 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 cheap. It's good. Um, it's in fact, I actually think it's brilliant value for money. But um, we can't really handle that many people on it, to be honest. Um, anyway, one point four. Uh, the features of one point four. Uh, what is there exactly? Well, um, there is. Uh, it's it's the Halloween update. Basically, they're calling it the scary update or something like that. And uh, it's going to be uh, sort of like the old Halloween updates they used to do, but they've got a lot of features. They've got witches, uh, they've got bats, they've got testificate zombies, they've got um, testificate zombies that you can actually heal them uh, with potions. Damn it. Um, you can get... Um, let me just collect my thoughts. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of features I really forgot about. The command block, which we will be using on the server. I'm sorry if those of you really don't like the thought of anything that's not obtainable through vanilla. We're going to use that just for literally um, little... Probably we might use it at the spawn to get to people's houses a lot quicker. Um, we might use it uh, for 
toggle down for, but it will only be for um, like me and Matt to use as admins. We're not going to be using it willy nilly to hack in items to teleport around the whole world. It will literally be um, for toggle down for to stop it raining, stuff like that. Um, maybe for administration. Why did I go outside for administration thingies? Um, there are also things I have already forgotten, such as. Um, there are wither skeletons. Wither skeletons are basically skeletons that have. Um, why do I always go around the wrong side? They have swords. They spawn in the nether. They're, I think, they're slightly taller than normal skellies. Um, they are. I. Um, they occasionally, like all mobs, will drop heads. Their own heads, um, which you can wear on your head if you want to. But the best feature about the heads is that if you get three of them, I think, and then something else, I can't remember what exactly, you can make the wither, um, which you literally... Oh, no, if you get three nether stars, you can then make the the wither. Um, and you make a nether star with, like, three uh, wither skeleton heads. Um, and the wither, if you kill it, uh, gives you a beacon. Oh, no, or... It gives you a nether star. Oh, I've got that wrong. <laughs> you get three skelly heads and uh, wither skeleton heads, and you can make the wither. And then each wither you kill, there's a possibility you'll get a nether star. And the nether star you can use to make beacons when you get three of them. Uh, then you all you also have got the um. The beacons you can basically use to give yourself potions. It's sort of like potions, but um, you can use currencies like iron, emerald, etc., to boost it. Um, the features inside it, but it's it's based with pyramids. I'm pretty sure you've all seen it by now. Um, but in case you haven't, I'm just going to tell you a bit about it. And then you can have like super jump, super speed, as long as you're in the area. Um, then you also have. Uh, entities can go into the end. You may have seen JL2579's video to do with the obsidian generator, which utilizes the wither and entities going through to the end. So, for example, falling sand from a sand generator, um, minecarts, pigs, zombies, testificates, anything that's an entity, probably even items. Um, of course, it has to be at the spawn because it's a loaded chunk. But then you've got the wither that will then destroy the obsidian somehow. I honestly don't know how. I and mean, he's overpowered. Um, but then because it's the spawn chunk in the end, uh, it's an infinite um, generator of obsidian, which is it's really cool. Uh, I don't think we'll be using it because it's sort of cheaty. It's sort of overpowered, much like sand generators, which I don't think we have any anymore in the server. Um, let's see, what other features? Okay, there's also going to be wooden buttons added, and they will be triggered by an arrow shot. And this means that we can have archery uh, games uh, to a lot more accuracy than Disco's one I think he made. I think he used minecarts, so I really can't remember. Um, but this way, you can have like a really accurate scoring system. Uh, it would be really easy to read, really easy to wire. There won't be any really weird tricks involved. It will just literally be use this and shoot at it. It'll be retextured, the texture pack will be. Um I'm I'm Yoda apparently. Um the te texture pack is going to be retextured so you won't be able to see the button uh, in my case for the uh archery game. Um other possibilities um or other things